If you want to learn how to properly export your alert from After Effects with transparent background and upload to your streaming setup, then stick around for this video. Most tutorial videos that you might find that shows you how to make animated alerts will often stop shy of showing you how to properly export your new animation. This then leads you to look for how to export alerts, which will most likely lead you down the path of exporting as a .mov file and then converting to a .webm using another website. For full context, I will show you both, but just know that you can do all of this by just using After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. Regardless of the option that you're using, you first need to ensure that you have QuickTime installed on your computer. So go ahead, you can just do a simple Google search for that and install QuickTime on your computer. Now, for the first option of exporting as a .mov file, from within After Effects, once you're done with your animation, go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, then while you're on your render queue tab for output module go to high quality and then this is where you will now see that quicktime option if you don't have quicktime installed this option will not be there so select quicktime then under video output go to channels and you want to be able to select rgb plus alpha if it's grayed out like this, then it means that your format options is not the correct one. So click that button um, under video codec, go down to Apple ProRes 4444, hit OK. Then you will now be able to select RGB plus alpha. Then hit OK and you can go ahead and select wherever you want to save this i'm just going to have it go to a random alerts folder once you do that then you hit the render button and your computer will go ahead and render out this video as a .mov file once you have your .mov file you then need to convert it to a .webm file as you know, a .webm file is the preferred format for using alerts in Stream Elements and Streamlabs. So you can use a site like this, which is um, aconvert.com. There are other sites as well. The drawback with some of these sites is that they have um, some size limitations. Some may have number of conversion limitations. So. Whichever one works for you, you can go ahead with, but this is just one example of that. Once you are here, you need to upload your .mov file. So I'm going to go to choose files, select the .mov that I exported, hit open, and then for target format, I select WebM. Where is it? It's right here. For the options down here, you do not want to change anything else because you want to retain the same quality, the same bit rate, and the same frame size. However, once you export from here, in most cases, I find that the quality um, depreciates a bit. But again, I'll show you a better way to do this. So from here, you can go ahead and click Convert Now. I'm not going to do that, but that would be the end of this. You would get your .webm file, and then you'd go ahead and upload that to your streaming platform of choice. And I'll show you how to do that a little later in this video. The second option, and my preferred and also recommended way of exporting this, is to actually use Media Encoder to do the encoding. Now, as I stated before, you still do need to have QuickTime installed, but now you actually need to have Adobe Media Encoder installed as well, which you should have if you're a part of the um, subscription. So let's go ahead and walk this through. From here in After Effects, go to Composition. Instead of Add to Render Queue, you're going to Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. This will open Adobe Media Encoder and automatically load up your file into Adobe Media Encoder. Once you arrive in Adobe Media Encoder, 
you will see your file here. This is the um, file that you're going to try to render out of Adobe Media Encoder. Now, I already have a preset set up for this because I export a lot of these. So I don't want to set this up every single time. So I um, saved it as a preset. And I'll also show you how to do that. So let me show you the settings that you need to have in order to achieve this. So right here, you're going to select whatever is, is in this spot. Right now it's .webm for me because again, I already have a preset. But nonetheless, click that and it will take you to the export settings page. Under export settings for format, you want to select this drop down and search for webm. So select webm from this drop down, then this is the preset tab here that I was telling you about, but we'll get to that in just a second. You want to leave these checked and remain as is. Go all the way down to your video settings here. Ensure that you select match source. You want this export to be matching the same settings as what you had for your composition settings. So frame rate is 59 same um, square pixels and most importantly the same size scrolling down a little bit further you will get to this section here which is the codex settings and the most important thing that you need to select from here is the quality now there is a size limit to uploading your alerts especially to stream elements and i believe it is 30 megabytes and so if you look at your estimated file size here, it is 70 megabytes. You want to bring this down a little bit until it is just below 30 megabytes. Trust me, you won't lose in quality as much as you think. It's okay, but you have to get that file size down. And this is the best way to do that. You can, again, go and convert, but we're trying to not use any third party thing to do this. So let's keep going down and i'll show you the most important thing that you need to have checked and it is this box include alpha channel make sure you have this selected or else you won't get that transparent background that is necessary for all of this to work once that is done underneath that you will see um, use maximum render quality you obviously definitely want to have that checked and then you can go ahead and hit OK. Same thing here. Select this and go to wherever you want to save the file. And then just hit this play button at the top and it will begin to convert um, or render out your video. As you can see, this gave me a .webm file. So we skipped out that entire conversion process, which is great. And we did not lose any quality by doing so. Once you have this file, you can go ahead and open it to preview um, your animation. And this might shock you, but take a look. It is going to look like this and you might be wondering, yo, what the hell? What is this? This is garbage. I'm going to delete it and try again. And that is the mistake here. This is a .webm file. So it will show up looking glitchy just like that and it is not an error so please don't delete your file and start this over and get frustrated move on to the next step for our next step we are in stream elements that's the platform that i use to um, host my alerts so once you're signed in and you create a new overlay go ahead and select the plus icon down here go up to alerts and select alert box you can drag this to fit the screen to wherever you want it to go. And then over here, you can select the alert type that you want um, to be in this box. For now, that doesn't matter. We're just going to um, edit any one of them. So for follow follower alert, I'm going to select the gear icon, which will take me to here. What we want to do is to replace this default video. So select change video then go to upload then you want to drag in your video that you have um, created your .webm file
once we have that uploaded here as you can see um, unlike the preview you can start to see the transparency working so that's good so hit submit and now where is our video it is there but we need to go ahead and trigger it so go to emulate go to follower event click it and look at that ain't that beautiful working perfectly and that is your confirmation that you have done a good job now let's wrap this up in obs here we are in obs and you want to go ahead and add a new browser source to whichever screen you want your alert to show up on go ahead and add in your url here from stream elements and make sure that your width and height is 1920 by 1080 then you can go ahead now and go over to stream elements and then run that follower event again and look at that your alert animation is now working you can move this to wherever you want um, and you should be good to go from there now if you notice that the text is all the way down here you can just fix up that setting in stream elements and put it in the center here but that's a whole other video that is it and that is how you can easily do this with just your native application no need to go on any website and go through all that hassle still high quality and very very good so thank you again for watching thank you for subscribing if you've already done so if you've not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe as i'll be making a lot more videos like this and also you know a clip here and there from my streams so have yourself a good day and i hope this helped you in some way